everyone and welcome to my channel guys. I hope you've all been well. I've had a couple of nice days of sunshine. Um, it's a bit hit and miss today. Today we're on Saturday the 15th of May and it's currently half past three. Uh, been out to the Hornsey for the day, you know, just searching for a bit of sun. Um, it's a bit dismal to be honest. I thought I'd come out to my local carving spot and just show you a couple of um, ridgeline tensioners which I've been trialling. So yeah, we'll show you some of those, uh, see what you think, might just spring you some ideas and if I get time, I've got a tensioning toggle doofamaru, whatever, I don't know what to call it yet. It's something I've seen and just adapted and such, but yeah, I'll bring you back in a sec. Hi guys, so the first tensioning toggle here is by Night Eyes. Now, I don't have to remember the name, it's something like um, Night Eyes Camlock. So what I've basically done is set up with me, you can just see it there. I've set up a loop with two overhand knots. If you're not showing an overhand knot, you can look at my previous videos, and then the rest is just a ridge line. I've got four of these, if I can grab them with four carabiners, which allows me to clip onto my tarp or my poncho or my one trigris backwards bungalow. So then your ridge line runs along here onto there so it's standard ridge line going into cam lock and then this just pulls tight but as you see it's nice and tight now we can do it hooking both of the loop ends into the cam lock I'm gonna be having focusing issues here guys yeah so both ends can go into the cam lock so that's my first tensioner now these are two for I think the £4.50 from Go Outdoors, Night Eyes Cam Lock. Now this is the smaller version. I do have a bigger metal version for I'm putting them up my big tarp and hammock setup. So yeah, that's basically it. That's how it threads through there. Come on, focus. Not having it. What I'll do is, I'll bring you on the uh, chopping block and show you a bit closer. Right, so I've brought you in a little bit closer just to show you this Night Eyes cam lock. I will put a link in the description below just to make sure it is the right model. This works from 1.8mm up to 3mm cordage. I'm just using a 3mm paracord. So, what you need to do, if you can see it there, is thread your line through. Just tie a stopper knot on the end, thumb knot, overhand knot, sorry not an overhand knot, uh, just a thumb knot sorry, um, that stops it bringing through. So we imagine we've got a loop around the tree, that hooks onto there, we bring your line through, where the knots are is the bit you're going to pull tight, then that just goes into the cam, you see there, and that pulls on there, and then that won't come back on itself. It was an ingenious little gadget, really. The smaller ones, I mean, I can imagine these being a bit, maybe 30 kilogram breaking strain. It's perfect just for a poncho. Do you know the emergency shelter? And it's actually starting to rain now, so I might have to put one up. But yeah, that's basically the little night eyes cam jam. And I have got the bigger metal version to go with bigger setups which I think will be a lot stronger and you know you can really rave on it and get some good tension. Not that you can't with these, but you can only go so far with plastic, but just another little idea for you. Well guys, I'm gonna have to cut it short. I did want to show you my uh, self-tensioning, like locking toggle method, but uh, I just had to sh set up a rudimentary poncho because it's absolutely pouring down. Didn't bring any rain gear with me. I've got my poncho, but when you've got your filming gear in, I've only got a lightweight bag with me. So I'm just going to sit it out, maybe have a cup of tea. Ah, oh, good old British weather. <laughs> Until next time, guys. See you later.